and give you all these reasons why and statistics and all this disinformation on why it's good for your safety. And your people will eat it up. Alright? Go ahead. Smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. Yeah, man. So the words of his mouth were softer than oil. They were smoother than butter, but war is actually in this devil's heart. So all, hey, you, you know, wants to take your guns from you for your safety. You want, you want school shootings to keep happening? You want, you want these mass shootings to keep happening? Nah, we gotta take the guns away from all you people. Which the ones that they're gonna take the guns from is all you registered as people. It's gonna be mostly from you, from you eat them like that. So, you, so your own government wants to disarm you. So, so you ain't gonna stand a chance because they. Jake don't give a fuck about no goddamn registration, man. Alright? Jake's running around with, with goddamn artillery from Vietnam and stuff, man. Rambo's guns. Rambo's, man. <laughs> goddamn 50 cows and fucking 100 rounds, 500 round clips and shit like that. Those drum, those drum feeders. Man. Oh, yeah, I think I've seen videos where Jake would have a belt feed. You know what I mean? <laughs> just feed just a belt. A 762 uh, just flying at your face, man. There was a there was a video of Jake in Chicago. He's on top of his uh, he's on top of his washing machine with a rocket launcher, man. Well, RPG rocket propelled grenade. All right. Hey, hey. And why? What does he tell you? He wants to disarm you for it? For your own good, for your own safety. Really, he just wants to make it easier for for when he brings this martial law. It's less there'll be less resistance, man. Because you Edomites are going to fight against each other, man. Alright? The words of his mouth are smoother than butter. Alright? Softer than oil, but more than his heart, man. Because really, he wants to destroy you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Yeah, he, even when uh, when he overtook Gad, they gave him a blanket. But the blankets were uh, with smallpox. So then they went up to him and they're like, oh, look, here, this, this to keep you warm. Meanwhile, they're fucking poisoning him with smallpox. You know, giving him diseases and shit. But he does that to this day, man. He's bi bi biological warfare, man. Yeah. All right? Except now, now, now the way that he feeds you these different viruses is through vaccination, man. This devil will literally tell you that uh, this, this virus, will we're going to inject the virus in you to protect you from the virus. Is that not an oxymoron if I ever heard one? The irony of that kills me. And you people are so stupid that you actually have a receipt for it. Alright? You you really don't understand what these vaccinations actually do. Not not only are they to kill you, not only are they to fuck up your nervous system and, and people have died from getting them. You have kids that have been they've gone retarded from getting them. It's got paralyzed from getting them. It tells no, no, it's it's for your safety yeah, so that they won't be sick. Yeah. Do you have, have have you ever heard of uh, hospital-created diseases, hospital-created viruses? And literally, what they're doing is they're injecting strains of viruses in there to build, to build, so the virus can build a, an immunity to your fucking so antibodies, like man. It up. It, it's not so that you can build an immunity to it, it's so that it can build, build an immunity to you. So that when they, when, when, when Jacob's trouble comes, these plagues that are going to come out, there's not going to be a fucking cure for them, man. They're going to be super bugs, super viruses, man. You people are going to get shit that's just going to be out of this world. Motherfuckers, fucking faces just going to melt off, man. All right? Big ass boils, they're going to pop with flesh, flesh, flesh eating bacteria. Dude, this shit's going to be, this shit's going to be menacing, dude. All right? Why, that's what vaccinations, that's why they're, they're that's why people that aren't getting vaccinated, they, they, they want to push that mandatory vaccination. Uh, where you have to, otherwise what, they'll take you, they'll take your kids from you, they'll take you to jail, all right? You know, which that's part of the, that's part of the image of the beast, all right? Being indoctrinated in the system, all right? You knowing what you know, you're not supposed to get fucking vaccinated. We got them when we were kids, but like I said, but, hey, this place is polluted, man. We have to be safe in this place, man. All right? Because Esau's going to come like a madman. 
Yeah, he, 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 he wants to force this. He wants to force these things on you, man. All right. With the power of what? The power of the sword, man. All right. The blessing. That's right. Go ahead. Cast thy burden upon the look. Cast thy burden upon the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. This uh, uh, Sirach 12, 12 and 10, it says, Never trust thine enemy, for like, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Alright? So it says, Never trust your enemy, man. Which Esau saw Edom is the devil according to the Bible. That's the enemy, man. You get uh, Luke. One, and I think it's verse 62. Alright? These other nations are your enemy, man. The so-called white man is your enemy. Alright? Everything, everything that's, that he tells you, war is in his heart. Alright? He might speak softly to you in your face, but a knife is, a, a knife is behind his back, man. He wants to kill you, man. That's why it says never trust your enemy, man. So anything that the so-called white man tells you is good, you, know, still, you, you better believe that it's not yeah, for your good, man. Alright? It's to destroy you. Alright? It's not for your benefit. Even when Esau goes around trying to help the poor, like it tells you in Job, I believe it's Job uh, 20 and 10, it says he shall seek to please the poor. He'll go around passing out ham sandwiches to Jake, man. Uh, yeah, I'd take a ham sandwich. I know you would. You're the devil, man. What? I'm the devil. You're the devil. Go ahead. How am I the devil? This is St. Luke 1 and 62. The devil in you. And they made signs to his father how he would have him called. And he asked for a writing table and wrote, saying, his name is John, and they marveled all. And his mouth was... Michael. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is uh, Luke 1 and 67. And his father, Zechariah, was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord, Yahweh, thy power of Israel. Yeah, the power of Israel, man. All right, the most high is the power of Israel, okay? Not of any of these other nations. All right, go ahead. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. He hath visited and redeemed his people. Why? Because we're in the hands of the wicked here, man. That's why we're all messed up here, man. That's why Jake got anxiety. That's why Jake got depression. That's why Jake going through hell, man. All right. That's why. That's why you have all these disorders out here. Jake is sick, man. All right. Doesn't know who they are. Just completely blind, lost in the sauce, man. All right. Yahweh Shemayah Shai came to redeem his people. A remnant are going to be saved uh, out of the out of this wickedness that's here in America. Man. And hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Yeah, in the house of his servant David, man. All right. Why? Because Yahweh Shai came from the seed of David, man. All right. Because Joseph and Mary actually had sex in order to produce Yahweh Shai, man. He was born just like any any of us were born, man. All right. Only difference is is that Yahweh Shai is the son of the Most High. All right, he was perfect in all of his ways during, and during his time here, during his time here at the house Shai on the earth, man, so that he could be that lamb, the ultimate sacrifice to redeem us, all right, which are filthy rags here in this society, trying to cleanse ourselves of our evil ways in order to receive uh, mercy from the house Shai, all right, because the elect are going to receive mercy in which the rest of you people are just going to be destroyed, all right. And the elect are only out of the 12 tribes of Israel, man. Okay, you go ahead. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Yeah, man, so he speaks by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. All right, so the prophets have been around since the foundation of the world, man. All right. Which the prophets are back today prophesying, man. All right, that's what we're doing. We're saying everything that's written in this book, what's going to happen, interpreting it to you, what's going to happen before it happens, man. Because the Yahweh Shimei Yahushai, that's how he operates. He lets you know what he's going to do before he does it, man. All right? And everybody that, everybody that doesn't want to believe, 
Hey, destruction is coming for you. Go ahead. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Yeah, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Right. And right now, even two thirds of the nation of Israel are enemies, man. Just like Esau Edom, man. Just like that dickhead. Yeah. All right. Yeah, about to see me. I was gonna try to destroy you, so-called white people. Man. But you can say you you can say whatever blasphemy you want to. The Lord is gonna have the last laugh on you, man. All right. And so are the prophets. He held by some y'all shot. All right. When it comes to Psalm 83, you know, you can start at Psalm 83. All right. Because the Lord said He's gonna save us from the hand of our enemies, man. And who is that? Esau, Edom, man. The so-called white men of these other nations are the enemies of the so-called black men. Alright? Two-thirds of you are of the devil, according to St. John 8, 44. Alright? Amen. 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 This is Psalm 83 and 1. Keep not thou silence, O power, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O power. For hold not thy peace. out against this place, man. All right, and to speak out against all the wickedness that goes on this place and all the atrocities that the so-called white man has done to the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, man. All right, all the rape, robbery, and murder that was done to the so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans up to this day. And even still, the, 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 the rape, robbery, and murder that you're going to do in these last times, man, all right, during Jacob's trouble, man, all right, the new, the new uh, 70 AD. Alright. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Yeah, man. Our enemies make a tumult, and those that hate us are, uh, uh, lift up the head. Alright. So Esau, he nobody he thinks he's going to destroy uh, uh, Israel from off the face of the earth. Right. Esau Edom thinks he's gonna he's gonna get that blessing, he's gonna get that birthright through the power of the sword, alright? Which is actually a curse. Alright, go ahead. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. Yeah man. So all these other nations have taken oh, yeah. crafty counsel against the Lord's people, man. And consulted against the hidden ones of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shad, man. Alright? All these other nations are in league with each other in destroying you, man. Alright? All these other nations have you in, in, in subjection wherever wherever you're at. Across the four corners of the earth, man. Alright? Go ahead. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Yeah, see? All these other nations took crafty counsel against you to do this, man. To cut you off from being a nation. So the remembrance of you, so that your dead bodies would lie in the street, man. So that the remembrance of you would be blotted out from the earth. All right? That you would, that your heritage would be taken from you. That you wouldn't know that you're actually the children of Yahweh Bashi Yahweh And that you're actually the Messiah. Go ahead. For they have consulted together with one consent. Yeah, they have consulted together with one consent. They were all in league with each other, man. All right. You're shady. It tells you. It tells you. It tells you that they sent gifts one to another, which was you, man. 